A big unveiling today of a multi-million dollar patient tower at Dayton Children's Hospital that was several years in the making. Two News reporter Kelly King shows us how the new facility is a good example of what's working in Dayton. The new patient tower is eight stories tall and 260,000 square feet. It will house inpatient and out of patient oncology treatment as well as other new features within the hospital. Anything is possible. That is what we believe and that is what we want every family who comes through Dayton Children's doors to believe. After three years and more than 1,700 tons of steel, the new patient tower has gone from this to this. We're, words really can't describe how I feel today. The design theme inside the hospital is things that fly. It's a tribute to the city of Dayton's rich aviation history. Whether they're balloons, whether they are airplanes. Monday, community leaders, staff, and patient families got a first look inside the building. This tower really is about transforming care for our kids. Better care for families like the Conleys. 16-year-old Ethan Conley was admitted to the hospital with a rare muscle virus seven years ago. To see this building, this miracle, I, I look at it as a miracle. I look at my son as a miracle. The new tower comes with new technology, advanced hospital communications. It's a caught a care sign. Entertainment in rooms and a germ zapping robot. It issues, uh, emits a very high intensity ultraviolet light. It kills any leftover bacteria or viruses. For the millions of dollars in community support put into the tower, the hospital is also giving back with this. Meet our dragon flyer. She is our gift to the children of this community. It's part of the hospital's effort to make children feel at home when they can't be. When they come to us, many of them are scared, they're nervous, they're worried, and as they walk through the doors of Dayton Children's, we wanted them to re really recognize that this is a community that puts kids first. The new patient tower will welcome its first patient here at Dayton Children's starting July 16th. Reporting in Dayton, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.